Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and in this video I'm going to be talking about my top Lucy Worsley documentaries. Lucy Worsley is a historian, a writer, and a curator and she is best known for her multitude of documentary series on BBC. I absolutely love her documentaries because she has such a charismatic personality and she is just such a thrill to watch. She really is a delight and she makes English history so entertaining and funny and accessible and I just absolutely adore her. She has a really long list of documentaries and I have unfortunately not seen all of them though that is definitely a goal for me but I have seen enough to have my favorites. So to begin, I want to mention some honorable mentions. The first one is the Great History Quiz, the Tudor edition. I absolutely love this one hour show because it's exactly that. It's a history quiz all about the Tudor period. So Lucy Worsley is a captain of a team of historians and she battles against another captain and another team of historians and it's just super fun. I wish that there was an entire series all about this that goes through the different eras of English history because you as a viewer can play along with the historians and you can kind of check how much information you know and how much you actually know about the tutors. So this is just really fun. And I forgot to mention that all of these you can find on YouTube. The other honorable mention is The Six Wives of Henry VIII. Now, the reason why this isn't in my top five is because I already knew a lot of the information before going into it. However, I think that it's a fantastic documentary to start with if you don't know anything about The Six Wives of Henry VIII. Lucy Worsley does a fantastic job and the documentary is structured in a way that you kind of feel like you're going back through time. I really appreciate that. I think it's just one of the best documentaries about the Tudor period and about the six wives and each episode focuses on one wife which is really really cool and I just think it's fantastic. Another brilliant documentary is the If Walls Could Talk series, The History of the Home. This is a very Lucy Worsley type of documentary because she basically does a documentary ah, she basically does a documentary about the house. So every episode you follow the kitchen, the living room, the bedroom, all throughout history and all of the changes that have been made to the space and how we have gotten to the place where we are now with them. It is such a cool, interesting documentary and I never thought that I would be interested in watching an entire hour of like kitchen history, but somehow I was. So now onto the top five. The number five spot has to go to Jane Austen Behind Closed Doors. This is a one hour documentary that follows Jane Austen's life through the places that she lived in. This is a brilliant documentary because you really get to see how the places that Jane Austen inhabited in her life really influenced her novels and she really went through a lot of different places. Jane Austen was an interesting character because she was able to see a lot of the different ways that people live. Lucy Worsley is obviously a tremendous fan of Jane Austen and her love for Jane Austen really comes across in this documentary and I absolutely love that. I love when you can see that a presenter is really passionate about what she's talking about and Lucy Worsley definitely does that in this one. Jane Austen's Behind Closed Doors is a great, great, great documentary. You go to Bath, you go to English country houses, you just go to all of these different places and it's absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Number four goes to The Real Versailles, co-hosted with Helen Castor. So this was a special documentary that they filmed because of the Versailles TV series that premiered, I think, two years ago. I actually have seen the Versailles TV series and it's absolutely wonderful. It's so, so fun. But this documentary is all about the real Versailles. It talks about the different schedules that people had, how you were supposed to dress, how you were supposed to get up in the morning, all of the frankly ridiculous things that the Sun King made the court do and it's just so 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 wonderful. Again, it's another lavish documentary by the BBC and by Lucy Worsley. You really get to see the ins and outs of Versailles and you also get to see how like dirty the time was and how Yes, it may seem super, super brilliant and wonderful and glamorous, but in reality, behind closed doors, there was a lot 
of stuff going on that doesn't really seem too sanitary and doesn't really seem too exciting in the modern age. This is a fantastic series all about Versailles. You get to have some really cool shots of the palace and it's just fantastic. Number three, Empire of the Tsars, Romanov, Russia. This is a three-part series all about the Romanovs. They are obviously the Romanov. They're such an important family and you really get to see in this three-part series from the beginning of their dynasty all the way to the end. So the three episodes, the first one focuses on Mikhail Romanov who started the dynasty. The second episode really goes into talking about Catherine the Great who was one of the greatest women in history. And then the third episode talks about the fall of the family and the rise of communist Russia and Stalin. My second favorite Lucy Worsley documentary is a very British romance. It's all about romance and love and how different eras had different ways of going about when it came to loving someone and having a crush on someone. This is perfect for anybody who's a fan of like Pride and Prejudice and the Victorian era because in all of the episodes you really get to see just how different romance was and how at the end of the day even though there were all of these different things that you had to do and different ways of expressing your feelings human beings are human beings and love really drives us in our lives it's just a fantastic fun documentary and i absolutely love that there's a documentary out there all about British love. And my number one favorite Lucy Worsley documentary is called Dancing Cheek to Cheek. This is about the history of dance in England and it is co-presented with Len Goodman. Len Goodman is very famous for being one of the judges in Dancing with the Stars. I watch Dancing with the Stars like religiously with my mom. And Len Goodman is pretty much like the bad judge. He's kind of the grumpy judge, but he is so funny in this documentary. Him and Lucy Worsley just have this incredible chemistry and you really get so much history and knowledge about really amazing dances like the waltz and the charleston and you go to the roaring 20s and you go to the 1800s and it's just really fun i am somebody that doesn't really know much about the history of dance i am not a dancer but i love to watch people dance i love to dance myself even though i don't do it in any kind of good way but this is just such a fun, delightful, lovely documentary that it's going to make you laugh and that it's going to make you want to learn how to dance. Another really interesting twist to this documentary is that Lucy Worsley and Len Goodman have to actually dance at the end of every episode. So they have to come up with this like really nice, very appropriate and accurate routine for the time that the episode talked about. So they have to dance and they do a fantastic job. So yeah, those were some of my favorite Lucy Worsley documentaries. I highly encourage you to search her up on YouTube. She is fantastic. The Worsley documentary, oops, that was the door. There's probably a Lucy Worsley documentary out there for you. She talks about war, she talks about love, she talks about pretty much everything under the sun, food. She just has a fantastic amount of different documentaries that focuses on different things. So I, again, highly, highly, highly recommend you check her out. And thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye.